everybody, welcome to Quickie with Miss B. Guess what today is, boys and girls? It Wednesday. Is <laughs> Fabulous Friday. What do you expect from a guy who shrinky dinks turkeys? What do you expect? (laughs) I swear if I ever find them, I'm going to go do some shopping, see if I can find them. (laughs) I'm still sending them to you. (laughs) It's just, it's just, it's, the girl at the dollar store got such a, because I, I went back, I, I go, you know, I'm, I'm in there for a regular. I say, hey, you know what? That's not the right kind of bag. She said, for what? I went, you know, I came in and asked you about having a bag. You didn't say cook in it. I said, no, it's heat proof. It is heat proof. You take a blow dryer, you put your gift in it. And she knew right away. You, said, oh, you didn't put the turkey in this. I went, well, it works for that, too. You just got to take it out to brown it. She was like you, just, I mean, couldn't breathe. She couldn't breathe. She wanted to go tell, no, she wanted to tell everybody. I mean, I'm surprised she didn't get on the intercom. (laughs) This guy? (laughs) Shrinky dick a turkey! Yeah, it's, yeah, that's, like I told you, people call me every Thanksgiving. Every one of them. Yeah, I'll stay, shut up. Just shut up. I don't want to hear you. I'll find some. Anyways, today's fabulous Friday. We always on Friday try to save the best stories for last so it can end on a good note because it's Friday and it is the end of the work week. That's right. It's important. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. So, you so, going first or am I going first? Because mine's just, you know, oh, you're that stupid guy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, mine's like, oh, you're that stupid girl. <laughs> well, you know, I can, I can do woodworking. Uh, you've seen, I've remodeled a whole house. You've seen it. Yeah. Uh, no problem with woodworking. Can build furniture. No big deal. No big deal. Take your time and all that. It's this particle board stuff and these instructions. You see, like once again, here we go. These oh. instructions. Because <laughs> you think, you think. Put it in the slot and put the put a screw in there, or you're gonna, you know, make it so it fits at a 45 degree angle and glue it or whatever. No, no, there's a giant hole the size of a quarter, and they want you to take a huge <laughs> screw. Yeah. It's as big around as a quarter. Mm-hmm. It's like literally six quarters thick. And you're like, what? What is this bottle cap? Stick it in the giant hole and turn it. And then they want you to jam a screw on the other side. And as you're turning it, make the two go together and they'll pull each other together. It's these these, these stupid fasteners. They make no sense at all. Uh Well, I'm not really doing well with the directions. And, um, you know, they're frustrating, in other words. And (laughs) stuff's not starting to go together well. It's not Uh making any sense. It's a bookshelf, Christine. Now, rather than go out like I would normally do, and just buy the lumber. Uh-huh. You can literally go, how much for that sheet of plywood? And they go, uh, it's $25. Put it on the saw. Here's the dimensions I want you to cut it to. They'll cut it all up. You throw it on your cart and off you go. Gun the whole thing together. There you are, bookshelves. Paint it now. Look at that. Perfect. Nope. Nope. The special missus has a special missus moment. <laughs> well, I kind of thought it'd be black, you know. I can get black paint. Yeah, but I want it really smooth. I have sandpaper. We could just do one by six lumber that way. It'll be a solid wood. And boom, boom. There we go. Yeah, but this is already done. You just slap it together. It's done. Yeah, you don't slap these together. The back. Is, where, where's the back? Where, where is the back? There is no back. I think there's you no the slapping ca- it together. She's like you, you, you use the cardboard for the back. How do you have a yeah. cardboard back on a bookshelf? Uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm going along. It's not, it's just not, it's not, it's just, it isn't. Okay. Uh-huh. Now I'm totally frustrated. Out come, <laughs> out come the air tools. Poo, 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 poo. I'm gunning this thing together. All right. Well, uh-huh. I'm, a little, I'm, a, I'm a little frustrated and I, I don't realize how bad. Now I'm used to holding things together and firing the gun. You know, I'm doing a brad yeah. nailer. 
This stuff is weird because it's like sawdust. All right. Oh, yeah. It's not That's wood. Okay. It's like sawdust. So you go to put the bread nail, the bread in there, and the bread takes off and starts heading up. <laughs> it literally just like curls and heads up because there's nothing for it to bite onto. <laughs> and then you hear this, patoo, patoo. Oh, 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 you didn't. <laughs> I just bread nailed my hand to the bookshelf. And I got a friend here who, rather than help me, he did his typical little moment that I would normally do to him. He's like, he looks at me and goes, you know, this is a good learning moment, a good teaching moment. I'm like, right now, I feel the sudden urge to stab you. He's like, you know, you really shouldn't fire a brand into this because you never know where it's going to go. There's no wood in it, John. It's sawdust. Yeah. I'm like, how about this? He's like, well, I mean, there's a couple of ways we could do this. He grabs my hand and pulls, Kristen. I'm like, oh! He's like, all right. Now, how are we going to get those out of there? And I'm like, oh, man. So now I'm bending them. I'm bleeding. And I'm bending them back and forth, trying to figure out if I can just break them off or whatever. Now it's not true. Now it's crooked. <laughs> so I'm tapping it back apart. I get it apart, but I tap one time a little hard. And Snap off the entire end of it now. <laughs> and I'm holding that spot that snapped off so the rest of it falls, Christine. And I have the hammer sitting on the ground. It hits the hammer and splits it in two. <laughs> That's the perfect moment for her to come upstairs. Of course it is. So she I does. Everything. So she does. What in the world's going? What happened? You just throw it together. <laughs> She's just looking. He goes, of course, he looks at her. He goes, he shot himself with a nail gun twice. <laughs> what do you have a nail gun for? Because it doesn't just go together. This wing nut, Christine, knows how, knows how to put the giant bottle cap screw in <laughs> or the chances of that <laughs> she takes one screw puts it in the hole she screws it in takes the big one slides it in at the same time she's turning it it grabs it locks it she goes just put it together <laughs> i handed her the screwdriver Picked up my nail gun and my little portable my little portable air can. <laughs> and said there's some other words I'd like to say to you right now. <laughs> but I'm going to leave you with these parting thoughts. Just put it together. <laughs> it's like two minutes later you hear, oh my God, why is this snapped in two? And you go, okay. <laughs> Down the stairs case, what in the world happened? I was like, it, 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 it doesn't just go together. I thought it just went together. So, uh, yeah. Just put it together. Yeah. So, needless to say, I finally got it. That uh, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> By real wood. <laughs> I just don't get that furniture. I don't get it. I don't understand it. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. I feel like I'm a three-year-old. <laughs> it's like it's like a carpenter walking around with a putty knife going, all right, where, um, what do I do with this? <laughs> I have 3,000 plus tools in my arsenal. None of them are used to just put it together, put it together. sawdust furniture. It, it, it just doesn't do that. So needless to say, now I get it. <laughs> and on that note, let's go do some shopping at Ikea. Back in a moment. Hey everybody, you're listening to a quickie with me, me, John and I. Bitcha, 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 shopping bitcha, bitcha, bitcha. at Ikea. What, what, what is me? <laughs> what, what, I don't that? know. <laughs> 
I do something different, I've, I do the same thing all the time. So I thought the drug show was last week. <laughs> because I was high. <laughs> yeah, that was last week, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the week before. Still feeling okay. effects, are you? Yeah. Um. So here, I gotta tell you my story. <laughs> Ah, I can't wait to hear this. You know, a while back, I bought a juicer. <laughs> so I thought, I'm going to make some juice. Are you, are you not, I, want, I want everybody to know this. I want you to tell them how good <laughs> I've been about that. About the juice? Have I said anything to you? Have I, taunted you, you, have I taunted you mercilessly that you bought a juicer? <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't. I have been so... So good. I was supportive. A... I was... Oh, come on. It's a juicer. Really? <laughs> it's a juicer. I know. It's a Slimer Green one, too. I, I know. And how long do part. juicers stay in the family? A month and a half, two, maybe three months. And then what happens? They go to the second cabinet down. And then eventually yeah. they, they make their way to the bottom shelf. And then someone finally, three years later, goes... Can you just put this in the garage in the top shelf? I'm going to get to it, but just so it's not in here on the shelf. You know. Well, yeah, I mean, I put mine away for a while because I had done that whole juicing thing and all this other eating thing and whatever. So I just kind of took a break from it all. So now I decided to pull it back out and I'm going to use it again. So I'm going to go make some juice. And uh, I got my recipe for my juice, getting all everything together. And I have to put some parts of it together of the juice machine. Okay. So there is um, the chute that goes down to where the actual juicing or the churning takes place. And then there is like a couple of other things that keep it locked in place, if you will. So I couldn't remember how to put this together. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> okay. So there's, it's, it pictured this. It's like an L shape. Okay. So you got the chute that comes down where you're putting your actual fruits and vegetables in. And then there's the other chute that's, you know, it's like a shape of an L. Okay. And you have one part where the food goes in and goes one part where the where liquid comes out and comes it expels out. all the solids. Yeah. And all the solids. And of course you have to make sure to put the end cap on really tight. So I'm like, okay, I got this. So I'm putting it all together. And now mind you, there's one, two, three, four parts. Yours truly only put three parts of this four parts together <laughs> and decided to start the juice. <laughs> so I'm putting my fruits and vegetables in my juicer, turn it on. I'm like, what the heck is happening? I don't see no juice coming out. Nothing's coming out, you know, like the, leftover stuff um in goes in the one container and then the juice is captured in the other container underneath and i'm like what the heck is going on this isn't working so i turn it off take all the parts apart again thinking that you know something must have been loose i didn't have something locked in place because if you don't have something locked in place it won't juice so, okay, put it all back together again. Now, at this point in time, I'm getting frustrated. I just want to make some juice. <laughs> I don't want to be in the kitchen all day. Let's just get this over and done with. Finally, Eric walks in the kitchen and I says to him, I go, honey. He's like, yeah, I go, can, can you help me? I says, I don't understand what's going on with this juicer. <laughs> he just nonchalantly reaches over and grabs for part number four and says, you can't do that because it's missing this part. <laughs> that would be the chopper. <laughs> uh, no, I had the chopper, that, but there was another part underneath the chopper that needed to go in, in the place, um, right directly underneath it. And I'm like, oh, say no. So then, of course, take it all apart again, put everything together with this part, and now finally I got juice. <laughs> And now you get it. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> now, did you bother to read the directions? <clears throat> I couldn't find the directions. I hit them on myself. <laughs> I hate when I did, do that. Did you, like, take a picture this time so you wouldn't have this problem in the future? Um, no, I didn't because this morning I went to make some more juice and I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> 
I almost did it a second time. But then I went, uh uh-uh, no, wait. Part one, part two, part three. Oh, we're missing part number four. Yeah, I'm not spending two days doing this again. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Now I'm thirsty. (laughs) And on that note, I'm going to go have me some vegetable juice. (laughs) Okay.